Hi. Okay, so I hope you can join me. Uh, just click on the video and then I will see that you're here. We are in a very powerful time right now. The um, full moon, it's actually called the buck moon. And um, this buck moon is about the um it's the time of the year when um the, the antlers start growing so it's like the time of the year when we are going to grow as well so uh, pretty much every full moon that we have is about growing it's our growth and every single full moon and even in between is all about the fact that we are being upgraded and so with the upgrades that we're receiving it's it's all about the um the energies and the resonance of the planet i don't know if you've heard of that but basically the planet earth is vibrating at a certain frequency i always go like this so it's vibrating at a certain frequency. We're standing on the planet, you know, and so what is going to happen is it's going to shake our world. Now this latest um, energy blitz, I'll call it, uh, we've already had an eclipse this month. Hey, Sasha, we've already had an eclipse this month. So it was really powerful. So today, now that was a, a solar lunar, no, a solar eclipse. Today is a lunar eclipse. So it's basically two eclipses in a month and super powerful. So really important to let go at what doesn't serve you because like I said, with the earth resonance, shaking things up the energies that we're getting from the full moon and this double eclipse month we are being upgraded at a very quick pace basically whatever we are doing if we're not doing our soul path the universe will make arrangements to lead you in a different direction now, what I have witnessed, and, and I did base my last podcast on that, is the fact that people are losing their jobs. Some people are leaving this life. I, I actually heard, I don't know of anybody personally, but I, I have heard from somebody else that they've had three friends uh, actually commit suicide and so what is happening is with the energy that we're experiencing if you are at a low vibration and you don't either you don't have the tools to raise your vibration or you just don't want to then you don't want to be in this life and although it's very hard to go through uh, to witness a friend that has done that when you think of it in a spiritual sense then it, it's it's what they wanted to do it's it's they just don't want to be here anymore and so if you can raise your vibration and use the tools to go even higher then you're basically going with the flow because now the planet is resonating higher the energies are coming at us from the moon and the sun and the great central sun we'll get to that in a minute so what's happening is we are being higher and higher vibration frequency and it's very important to go with this flow and not fight it it's like Abraham Hicks says when you get into a river and there's a flow and you're fighting the current and going the opposite way 
it's not going to be that easy to say paddle your canoe in the wrong way in the current so that's what is happening when you're not going with the flow the frequencies go in higher and if you're not going higher with it then you're fighting the current so I hope you get that now the great central Sun all the planets are aligning because not only are we going through like the two eclipses and the um, like the full moon the energies that come with that there's a mercury retrograde which really gets some people going gets their mojo going and you get into this real argumentative state and uh, some relationships are splitting and, and so there's all kinds of things happening this month with relationships death and jobs and it's it's some of it's really hard to take now with the Mer mercury retrograde my tongue is getting twisted <laughs> the mercury retrograde what is happening now and with the energy of this full moon it, it was messing with our lower chakras causing us to go into fear and some things so uh, for an example I, w I went into fear about money I don't have that and I don't have this and and I could tell something was different because I don't have anything to worry about and yet I went there and I could feel all of this energy coming up and so I did a little bit of research like what's going on with this and I connected with my soul and I asked questions so basically it is the all the energies everything combined is causing us to let go of what doesn't serve us so if at any time there was fear in the lower chakras regarding you know anything money relationships your job and and it's still in your lower chakras then it's going to interfere with all kinds of things until you let it go so I decided to do this special broadcast because it's about letting go and uh, and hopefully yeah we are all able to let go and uh, it's yeah it's gonna be a powerful thing so let's get right to it and then we'll have uh, oh first of all does anyone have any questions at all before we get started just put it in the comments if you're watching and you haven't clicked on the video yet I don't see the questions I won't see it until after I'm out of here so make sure you click on the video I don't see anybody in the event so that's a good thing because we don't want to be in there sometimes people are watching for me to show up there okay so that's not happening okay so let's get right into a meditation we're gonna connect and then what we're gonna do is uh, simply uh, do some letting go and do some powerful energy work all right so <laughs> all right so <sighs> take a couple of deep breaths really inhale and exhale with a sigh <sighs> so when you're inhaling focus on bringing in pure white light and exhale <sighs> I know it's weird to have the sound when you exhale but that is really uh, a letting go and the sound is a vibration and uh, Oh, and while well, just keep breathing deep and I'm gonna explain this if you haven't been on any, any of my special broadcasts before this is a sacred geometry poster so I've got this powerful poster I have my necklace which is also let's see if I can get closer oh losing the light there we go so you can see the sacred geometry on that and we're just surrounded I tell you this beautiful with its tiger eye 
in a pyramid. Of course, that's powerful. And then it's got the the um, sacred geometry poster or poster symbol on there as well. So with that, you're going to keep breathing and know that even though I have this, all the sacred geometry here, you are getting the energy of that. So just keep breathing deeply and focus on the white light coming through your crown chakra, going through the top of your head and going into your body. Ask that the beings of light clear any lower vibration in your body in your body, in your space. We're gonna ask that they all clear everything that doesn't serve us. And while we're asking for help, we're gonna ask that all the cords to everyone and everything we've ever been in contact with is cut. It takes back your power, all of your energy. So feel the energy coming back into your body. Now focus on the sun and have the sun be right above your head. It's like a golden orb above your head and shower your body with golden energy. I'm going to do some holographic healing. So I'm going to uh, activate the 12 rays of the sun. The 12 rays of the sun is going to come down every single color into your body and your space. We're going to go into each one of your chakras. You may get uh, vision. You may hear things while this is going on. We're going to ask that all chakras be clear, be perfectly aligned. Any extra chakras that need to be activated, we're going to activate it. The 12 rays of the sun connecting with the 12 chakras. Don't overanalyze this. Just let it activate. Feel the energy going around you as the rings of harmony is activated. Visualize the beings of light drawing on your forehead the infinity shield. Infinity symbol. Sorry, it's holographic healing. I call it the infinity shield because the infinity symbol turns into a shield that will protect you. Keep your vibration at a high frequency. Now turn your focus to the sky, to the cosmos. Focus on the fact that the planets are aligned and you are aligned with the planets. Visualize your heart opening and expanding. Fill the room that you're in with your heart energy. Visualize the great central sun. With all the planets aligned, the great central sun can now send energy to you right through the top of your head, through your body, Feel the energy coming from the great central sun. You may get messages. You may feel lightheaded and buzzy. Your palms may be throbbing with energy. 
Just keep breathing deeply. Now place your left hand on your heart. Visualize sacred geometry going through your hands into your heart. And listen to the soul language. The symbols are all around us. We just need to open our third eye to see them. Ask that the beings of light clear our third eye and everything that is blocking it, that is blurring our vision. So clearing the third eye. Connect your third eye to your heart. Feel the connection between the great central sun, your third eye, and your heart. Now ask that your higher self, your true self, join you, merge with you in your body. You have been cleared of all energy that no longer serves you. So the energy is clear and now it's time for your higher self to join you and feel the merging feel the energy of your true self it may vibrate your entire body you may feel shaky When you merge with your higher self, allow your heart to expand and open your heart for receiving. There's so much energy coming at us right now. And this connection that we have, this powerful connection with the planets, the eclipse, the moon, the sun, all of it is sending us energy. But this energy that you have allowed your higher self to merge with you and to expand, that is going to stay with you. And I'll take a couple deep breaths and then come back when you're ready. Open your eyes when you're ready and then leave me a comment. Let me know if you experienced anything powerful. Did you get any messages? Did you see anything? And uh, thank you for those who have just joined. Highly recommend watching the replay. Uh, we kind of jumped right into the meditation. So it, um, yeah, go back and watch the replay. And it's uh, very powerful. So the holographic healing, the... Um, uh, when I activated the 12 rays of the sun, that will stay with you. That and I believe I, I activated the rings of harmony and uh, the infinity shield. All right. So that is going to stay with you for seven days. All right. So I've, I've asked it to stay with you for seven days. Doesn't matter if you watch this video like two weeks later. It's, there's no such thing as time, which is really hard for us to wrap our head around. But when you watch this, you'll be watching it live. Th those of you who came in late, when you watch the video, you'll be watching it live. The energy is happening right now. And in the moment that you're watching it, it's happening. So always, always be in the present moment because that's when you have all your power. When you're in the present moment, you're not thinking of this person or that person or what happened at work here. Or, or like I said in the beginning of the video, I talked about the fact that, you know, some people are committing suicide. So don't give your energy away. And this was either their path or they can't handle the energy of what's happening. 
Um, let me see if there's any questions. Awesome. All right, you're welcome, Sasha. All right, so let me know if you have any questions because I'll just keep rambling on. So the light language that came through seemed to be coming directly from the great central sun. So that was really um, interesting for me. When uh, you connect to any planet at all, um, you can speak the language of that planet. It, the, the language that I speak though is, is soul language. It's the language of our heart. And so our ears, our human ears, is never going to understand. And so listening with our heart, and that's why I call it the language of the heart, because your heart knows. Your heart knows everything. And that's, you know, that's pretty wild. You can ask your heart anything. When I'm speaking of asking questions, we connected with our soul and we are our soul our true self so we're merging with with our soul it's not that our soul goes anywhere they're they're with us but they can't be in our human body when we have 3d stuff going on and so when you can release this stuff it's lower realm energy lower frequency when you can remove that frequency and you have the tools if you've watched any of my videos you have the tools the the waterfalls you know your golden energy coming down on you having a, a energetic golden shower really powerful to do i highly recommend doing that every night cut the cords to everyone and everything you've been in contact with because we will connect to objects as well and so cut the cords and have your energetic shower it is a very powerful thing to do another thing I love to do and I always forget to do this every day but really important to do this is is to visualize a lightning bolt and the lightning bolt strikes you right at the back of your neck there at the top of your your spine kind of like in that where your head is connected to your neck right there even just the back of your head the, the top of your spine so the the a lightning bolt hits you there and visualize this lightning bolt coming down your arms your legs filling your whole body zzz, all the way down it actually is like a computer and it will like almost like jump start it right so it's like when you defragment a pc you know i don't have a pc anymore but when you defragment you're putting the pieces together so and you restart the computer well when you visualize a lightning bolt you are restarting your entire nervous system so no matter what's happened during the day it's like zzz, and you start over again you get rid of everything energetic you don't want it you want no part of it and that's that's a choice if something's going on in your reality and you don't want to be part of it then you make the decision that you don't want to be part of it you don't want it in your reality it's your reality so you choose what you want to experience and that's something that we're not aware of either is that well when you think about it we are all having our own reality right now those of you that are watching or watching the replay you're in my reality because you're watching me however in this room and in my life I got renovations and everything going and I'm being disconnected if you were here in my home then you would be in my reality or internet I don't know if I'm still recording or not. Let me see. Do you still hear me? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I, uh, I've got a, a window up here trying to reconnect and I'm like, 
I'm not sure what's going on there. So I'm going to take that as a we just blew the energetic roof off of my computer. Oh, yay, you still hear me. That's good. Because <laughs> what I see here is trying to reconnect. So I'm like, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to ignore that then. But we did blow the energetic roof off of this computer because it's yeah, it's got some issues going on. It says my video has been paused. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this. Watch the replay. Do the, the meditation as many times as you can. Really important. You don't have to watch the replay once you do it. You know, once you can connect and bring in the energies and and do all the healing for yourself. It's a very powerful thing to do. So thank you very much for joining me. And uh, this whole trying to reconnect is throwing me off. So I, I can only hope that the whole video is here when I'm done. All right. So take care. Many, many blessings. Continue to be connected to the moon. All right.